My heart rate's gone up, you lot. In a world. Ah! If Earth went into a black hole, then every single blowjob on Earth would be in that black hole, so. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Sidemen Reacts video. Today we have Zerka, KSI, and Vicstar, and myself reacting to 13 scariest theories that'll make your blood run cold. Oh. Hey, DJ, spin that shit. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh. tired to start, mate. Oh, I weren't ready for this lesson. I was just woken up. <laughs> it's gonna ruin my day, isn't it? It's gonna fucking ruin my day. Oh. <laughs> Go back to bed after this. Now consider this: Does the Ohio State University marching band right. have their field maneuvers directed by aliens hovering oh, overhead, oh. high above the stadium? A scary theory, to say the least. If you like oh. that one. Check this what? out. That's not a theory. No, no I that's, the, that's, that's a little troll to like just, just bring, bring you in. Like, oh, hang on. Do you know this Don? Every now and then, I like listening to him, but sometimes just fuck off. You notice how all these Dons who do the voiceovers always have the same voice, but that like at the end of each sentence, they're like, uh, in a world when the blood run cold. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Ohio State. <laughs> the it's Ohio always like State. pauses as well. Man. It just, it just pauses. <laughs> always hold it every time. Do we have another Sidemen channel in the making? 13 scariest Sidemen moments. Where did we come from? Where are Where we headed? We Is there oh. intelligent life on Earth? <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> <this>. <laughs> on Earth? It's, it's on Earth. On Earth. I don't know these days. I can't lie. It, I mean, yeah, it is very true. <laughs> <laughs> on on Earth. Earth. Sorry. People can come up with theories that are downright terrifying. In this video, you'll learn about 13 the point. of the scariest theories that'll make you question everything you thought you knew about your reality. It's gonna fucking ruin But yeah. before we dive down this thought-provoking rabbit hole, become a bona fide oh, bright oh, Make sure you oh, subscribe oh, to Side oh, Memory Act to give you five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's hilarious is we are just watching someone else's video telling them to fuck off. <laughs> Self-entitled little rats, look at <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, fuck. Number go. 13, the Great Filter. When you really oh, consider this, this the size of me. the universe, oh, no. it's only reasonable yeah. to assume that it's, it's filled with paradox. countless life forms. Yet, we haven't stumbled across any of them so far. So why is that? According to this theory, somewhere out there exists a Great Filter. The main purpose of this filter is to stop those civilizations that advance to the level of star colonization. If we suppose that this idea is true, my heart rate's gonna be like, but I can feel it. There are three possible scenarios for humanity. A, we're unique because we've passed the great filter. Other civilizations haven't managed to do this. B, we're among the first potential colonizers. Before, the conditions in space were too harsh for life forms to leave their home planets. <laughs> in this case, <laughs> what, what did he just do? I think your laugh will make my blood run cold, bro. That was grim. We run back, we reload planets. that laugh. <laughs> in this case, the <laughs> space were too harsh for life forms to leave their home planets. <laughs> In this case, chances are that we'll soon encounter aliens. See? We haven't reached the level of technological development that's advanced enough to pass through the filter. Consequently, the trial is still ahead of us. You know, there's another one to that. The mm. other one to that is I didn't ask like, 14 bit. I don't want 14 bit. We're gonna, we're gonna nuke. I, I, like, we're gonna I, I, nuke I'm interested. I'm actually we... interested. Yeah, that's, that's part of the process, the part of C though, is it not? Yeah. Realistically, yeah. When we, haven't hit that, we haven't hit the point yet. But we never, like, we never will. We can't. Like, we're, we're no, that's 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 fixed. That's fixed. Theory that he loves. So, okay, hates at the same I time. I do. There's yeah. there's a there's a bang of video. Wait, what do you mean that we will never hit it? Like like humans are destined to never like leave our solar system because yeah. we're gonna either destroy ourselves or our planet or our solar system first. Yeah. Just, but yeah, it's basically suggesting like either like we can't. It's actually impossible for us to do it, or if it is possible. Yeah. We're we gonna, got that we're, yet. yeah, we haven't got we're that. Gonna yet. And if, we're we, gonna fuck or, it. Or, or we could just fuck ourselves by trying to do it. <laughs> Jeez. And that's the theory. That's why apparently that's why no other ones exist. Or we're the yeah. first. Do you know what's this? I think honestly the scariest one is we're the only one. Like we're the only chance that life has ever had, and we're we shit at it. Like, you've just made me look at <laughs> the collective. You've just made me look at the window, bro. Suck. You've made, made me look at the window, bro. It's all relative, <laughs> lad. It's all relative. <laughs> I looked out the window and I thought, wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a bunch of fucking morons we've got over here. <laughs> like, like, we've been gifted with, and what do we do? We just fucking, we fuck around. We don't achieve shit as a collective. We do mukbangs. <laughs> stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. You ruined my day. Higher dimensional beings. Let's imagine something pretty bizarre now. 2D people. Yeah. Obviously, if you stared at them from a certain angle, like from the top, they wouldn't ever spot you. They'd live peacefully in their two-dimensional lives without any suspicion that someone's watching them from Get above. Get up on strings, bro. And now, <laughs> imagine something above. even scarier. What if a 4D being was looking at you from their four-dimensional world? Just like a 2D person, you wouldn't be able to notice this creature in your 3D world. It's you could potentially interact with a 2D person if you found the right angle. In the same manner, a 4D life form oh, could talk to you. This film is so Unfortunately, good. even if these higher dimensional beings exist, they seem reluctant to make contact with the human race. Number 11. False Vacuum This scientific theory says that our universe exists in a false phase state, which means that it's just a temporary thing. What's more, oh. it's only a small part of a larger universe. Really, Josh's day, this is. Yeah, uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Don't this to me. This is really Josh's day. <laughs> it Let's say this bigger universe is a pot of boiling water. According to the false vacuum theory, the universe we live in would be just a tiny bubble on the surface of the water. But this can't go on forever. One day, perhaps in billions of years, this That's false fine. vacuum will eventually burst. Or tomorrow. Man, Vic, that's that. That's that Vic. Yo, Vic, Vic shut fuck up, off, bro. What's wrong with Yellowstone could go off right now, too, fair, couldn't it? <laughs> it's just as likely that the simulation we're in, we're in, ends tomorrow. I hope, we're in, a sim I hope we're in a simulation, Ow. you know. Ow. I hope I'm a little. I hope, I, hope I'm a, I hope I'm a computer. Ow. But why does he sound like he's sugarcoating it? He's like, he's like, oh, our, our universe might end in a few million years, or it might end tomorrow. Equally, let's. I hope I'm a sim character. Are, and I'm just being controlled not, by someone. Are, are we not far enough away from Yellowstone for it to not fuck up my day? Nah, super I'm volcanoes, not even talking bro. Yellowstone. I'm talking like we're we're the Sims. Like, the difference, the difference is Yellowstone's due to go off. Yeah, we're not the Sims. We're not the Sims, bro. We could be. How wait, do you so know? wait, wait. Yeah, if Yellowstone, do you think the Sims know that they're the Sims, Ethan? Yes. That's a deep thought. That's a deep thought. That's a very deep thought. Mate, you're there, dra you're there putting no, that sim in the pool. No, because now you made me think that there's these little you're fucking... You're putting that sim nah, in the pool, mate, with no ladder, nah, and he's thinking, you, like, why is this happening? See, see, see Captain Price, like, your Captain Price that you control. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's real. He has, he has feelings. I, he has know, a family. He you keep fucking him out, making him do weird parkour and shit. No, I don't. Wait, 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 That's wait. what AI is going to get to, bro. Going back to Yellowstone, if that yeah. erupts... Do we all die? Well, no, it's set off every volcano in the, on the planet, pretty much, at the same time. Uh, and, we're, we're, and we're an island, so we're just going to get hit with waves. No, the, it's, the, it's the smoke cloud. It's a cloud of ash. That also, yeah. Like, like, it will like, go into the atmosphere and block out the sun. What, what, was the one, what was the one that happened before? I mean, the dust cloud that we could... Uh, oh, shit, yeah. It's it stopped planes, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So imagine yeah. that everywhere. Mad. Fuck. But then wouldn't we have technology that just blows... All the way. <laughs> yeah, no. We've just got these really big fans, fans bro. <laughs> JJ, you got a fan in your office. If you just want the outside, wind turbines are for, mate. <laughs> just, do you know what? Wind I'll wear my fans. They're going to cool down the earth, aren't they? Hey, yo, if we, if we all turn our fans, fans on at the same time, and if we all blow into the sky, sky at the same time as well, maybe that works. Yeah, yeah, if we all blow upwards, you're right, bro. Number ten. We're living in a black hole. Now, you're probably aware that a black hole sucks in everything around them. But what happens to the stuff it engulfs? What if a black hole already swallowed us up long ago? Surprisingly, some physicists deem this theory pretty plausible. According to Dr. Nikodem Pawlowski, a theoretical physicist at the University of New Haven, everything that a black hole sucks in may turn into a new universe inside the hole or on the other side of it. Wait, so could you say... I've definitely left new universes inside all holes. things, black holes give the best blowjobs. Okay. Well, yeah, that's I mean, you're not wrong because I guess it, it, if Earth uh, <laughs> went into a black hole then every single blowjob on Earth would be in that black hole, so... Tundo! <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> Bro, it's like the human centipede of blowjobs. So that's, that's an accumulative blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> that's the level we're working at. It's a never-ending blowjob. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> uh, black hole, where you at? Hey, yo, yo, I need a black hole real quick. Black hole. Hey, hey. black hole. Hey, but that'll fuck your shit up. And now, nah, bro, this, this, hey, this is this is when set one and set eight are in the same class together. <laughs> Maybe that's how our universe was born and where it's currently located. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, that was <laughs> damn. A lap is noises, bro. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. It's a white oh, yeah. This could be Harry in ten years. I could see Harry doing one Wait, of these hole. channels. Oh, Ooh. running the channel. <laughs> Making the noises. Doing one of these, mate. Yeah, true. He's in the bottom lip there. Ooh. Puts his hands up. Number nine. White holes. Now, the theory of white holes is closely connected with the previous idea. While black holes engulf all matter so that even light can't escape, white holes are quite the opposite. These formations are believed to spit out everything that black holes suck in. In other words, a white hole is a hypothetical area of space time. So we could be the black hole spit, which yeah. she hasn't swallowed. She hasn't swallowed, bro. Okay, is it, is it, we're putting it into this kind of context, are we now? <laughs> oh, man. So we, we, so we came in a black hole and the white hole spat us out. Yep, got came it. Came in a black hole, left it from a white one. <laughs> <laughs> hey! 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 I'm a little bit the J-Hus bars, come on. Hey! <laughs> man, man said came in a... <laughs> came in a black hole, left in a white one. Hey, that's hard. That's Number eight. Oh no. The multiverse theory. <laughs> That's okay. the you may have this heard the of the existence of a parallel the universe. In that <laughs> place, everything seems the same, but is in fact quite different. The multiverse theory takes it all one step further and claims that there might be countless other realities beside our own. Now, according to this theory, we live in a bubble that's just one of many other bubbles. They constantly pop up and vanish, not unlike soap bubbles. And who knows? Maybe in one of these universes, dinosaurs still roam ah, this planet. I love that. Number seven, brain in a vat. This idea has provided the groundwork for a number of thought experiments. Just consider the following statements. The origin of consciousness is the brain. The brain needs electrical impulses oh, I'm to heart, operate. I'm <laughs> The brain needs electrical impulses to operate. However, it can also be influenced by external stimuli. Thus, if such stimuli are simulated to a high degree, the brain won't be able to distinguish these artificial stimuli from natural ones. Basically, what this means is that you very well could be just a brain in a jar. Well, Something is feeding you false impulses, and you're hallucinating your whole life in reality. That's gas. Oh. Wait, what? Do you mean what? That's gas, oh, what do you mean I'm always, always going to be in a jar. That's fine. Let's come. Well, you're in the you're in a jar of some Don's little fucking shitty underground fucking house, bro. That's where you'll be, bro. This Don's got a lot of bloody jars, bro. No, one little weird Don. No, he doesn't have a lot no, of jars. No, no, that's what I mean. You could, could be. So you could be the jar. Well, and then everyone else is real. And I'm just... That, yeah. always, that always fucks me up. I don't know if you So I could be real. hallucinating. So you like, I, I don't know if you lot are real. You're, 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 Vic! So Vic! I don't know if you're real. I don't know if you're real. Am I simulating all of you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so he's I might not be real. I know I'm real. I don't know that you're real, JJ. How do you know you're real? You don't know you're real. How you're you hallucinating real? what you're doing. How do you know no, you're but real, I know bro? that my, my, I'm like, I, no, you my don't. conscience is my own. No, look at the waffle. My conscience is my own. Yeah, but that's no, not bro. real. That could be, that you're in, a, you're in a vat. You're in a jar, bro. Bro, you're a jar. Yeah, but I'm, I'm making decisions right now. But I don't know that you're making decisions. You could just be. You, a you, you, you are making my decisions. You're simulating me. What do you mean? I'm in do your you, head. I don't know that you're. Vic, I'm you're, just, yeah, you're in my head. Vic, but you I'm might moving. Not be... Vic, I'm moving my hands right now, bro. This is me making a decision. Mate, you could be an imposter. You could be an imposter. Oh, bro, Vic, be an what, imposter. what are you right now, Vic? You know what I'm doing because you're doing it for me. Bro, my brain's just telling me I'm hearing some audio cues from this thing, but do I know that that thing's actually? <laughs> oh, shut the fuck thinking? up. Uh, shut the fuck up. You could be a figment of my imagination. Run the video. Run the video. I know. All of you could be made up. I'm too elite to be a fucking figment of imagination. <laughs> Number six, Rocco's Basilisk. Rocco's Basilisk is a hypothesis that some future super powerful artificial intellect can retroactively punish people who've struggled against it in the past, which is our present, or even those who did nothing to help bring it about. Oh, the AI, this theory mostly explores the possible consequences of developing AI to such an advanced level that it can backfire on When it outlearns you and says, you know, this thing. Yeah. Ready for more? Number five, the transcension hypothesis. How about a less scary, more positive theory for Come a change? Come on. <laughs> you know, I've, got, you know, I've got goosebumps. The transcension no. hypothesis states that a civilization eventually gets to a certain intellectual level. Having reached this point, it manages to achieve microscopic technological singularity. Okay, stay with me now. 
and create a black hole which will allow this civilization to leave its visible universe. This way, it'll take its complexity, intelligence, and growth to new levels. At the rate our scientific development is going, this becomes a real optimistic probability for the human race. Right. Number 4. The Terror Management Theory According to this idea, everything we do comes from the fear of death. Our wishes and motivation are based on just one thing, and it's the idea that one day we will stop existing. When you consider modern medicine, or even just anti-aging procedures and products, it becomes obvious that we really are desperately trying to avoid death. Science works day and night to ensure that humanity will survive, and the human lifespan will become longer and longer. Number 3. The Sixth Mass Extinction Fucking hell, man. <laughs> you guys good? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I picked this video. Why the fuck did I pick this, this video? Is, this is your Josh, fault. you know that last one as well. That last one was it's right me. Yes, I right at you. Number three, the sixth mass extinction. This theory is probably the most horrifying. Yet, unfortunately, it's the most probable scenario. Brilliant. Some biologists believe <laughs> oh, that humanity stop. is headed for or already passing through <laughs> the sixth mass extinction. <sighs> it has to do with how overpopulated our planet is. In stop the 18th fucking, century, <laughs> there were about stop 1 billion right. people on Earth. But nowadays, just a couple hundred years later, the number of people on this planet has exceeded <laughs> a whopping 7 billion. If nothing changes, the outcome will be unavoidable. We're part of the problem, you lot. We shouldn't have yeah, been that's what I'm saying. <laughs> humans problem. are the virus, bro. Agent Smith we're, was right. We're, we're part of the problem. Humans bro. are the virus on the planet. Hey, everyone, we use condoms, please. And Stop recycle. And recycle. Yeah, and recycle, yeah. That's it. Yeah. In fact, if you, if you constantly use condoms, we should have an ocean full of condoms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I watched a guy video where he's like surviving on an island for like four days or whatever. It's a really good video. He does it quite often. But when he was walking along the beach, bro, it's just fucking like sandals and bottles and shit. It actually made me sad. I think we'll, I think we'll sort that out at some point, though, where we're going, right? Mm, do you think? It was quite a new, 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 new materials. Like, we'll work on everything, surely. There's a lot of people on this planet that don't, that don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. They don't do it, yeah. But loads of corporations don't do it. Like, loads of corporations that produce those products. Look, I don't think it's. I'm not optimistic. I think a lot of the dons that are on this planet are fucking idiots. So. The majority? Yeah. yeah. Sorry if you're included in that circle. Yeah, that, that's, I'm probably one of those too. I'm not, yeah. I'm not I mean, putting myself about I, you. I, I, I'm I, saying I, I'm I with bounce, you. A, I bounce, you know, there back and forth. Let's say. What you, that's how I, I have that's how I know you're on my side, Ken. No, no, no. I don't stand <laughs> back and forth. No, but that's sometimes, how I know. No, no, no. So, bro, I'm just slow today. But no, no, it's okay. Sometimes, sometimes. It's okay, bro. I have my smart moments, and then sometimes I have my dumb moments. Are you? <laughs> To be actually, oh, you've been quiet for a while. Are you just fried? Yeah, yeah you know? okay. Uh, just I, fried I, your bro, brain. Bro, no, no, I'm bro. I'm just fully locked in. <laughs> <laughs> fully locked in. Just imagine his mouth just open, bro. Yeah, bro, that's what it's going to be. It's probably bare moments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Basically, humankind is due for a tragic demise. Fuck off. Hey, oh, number two, the Fermi Paradox. This, this idea people, explains way. why we probably wouldn't recognize an advanced alien civilization, even if it came up and bit us on the butt. This civilization could be so advanced that humans would never understand their ways. As a result of our dumb simplicity, this technologically developed race would never try to come in contact with us. After all, you don't pay attention to ants, do you? It's kind of like how ants don't realize that a highway you build near their anthill oh, is wait, what it is. It? You met, I remember getting told this when I was younger, right? So you know, I, think, I you... know, I think it might have been me. I told you this. Like, no, this, no, bit, 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 bit. I'm talking. Or long ago. No, bit. I'm t you don't even know what I'm about to say, bro. So hold that. Uh, when <laughs> well, I he does. He's up... already simulated it. <laughs> <laughs> wait up, bro. He's in your brain. <laughs> bro, when I was younger, right, so I remember someone said, "So you see how ants can like." lift the shit, they can move it, whatever. If you cross DNA with an ant, with a human, you'd be able to lift this thing like 45 times your own body weight. How fucked is that? Yeah, so it's like it's the strongest animal to yeah, so you think, Yeah, yeah, like it's the strongest like weight to whatever comparison. So JJ, imagine you're deadlifting like what? 200 something, bro. You'd be deadlifting like fucking 45 times it, bro. Wait, if you was, if you had what? DNA of an ant, like strength DNA of an ant, you'd be fucking lethal. Jesus. I think that'd be terrifying. We could lift up like a whole boat. But you'd be, you'd literally be a superhero, bro. We'd all to be, be fair though, the difference from one human to another is mad. It, like t from me to Eddie Hall, Eddie Hall can lift like fucking twenty times more than me. You just mean as bodybuilder ants? Wow, Probably. like an ant that's like just designated to get the biggest leaves.
Bloody oh, hell. Hell. These dons are on the screen right now. They've been sent out to get. I guess a soldier ants, isn't it? They're, they're, they're colonies, bro. They got they got workers. They got they're kings. They got queens, bro. bro. They got all, all right, of them. They got ants, Canada. They got ants. <laughs> That's a banging channel. <laughs> Next side member reacts, we just be watching ants. Side member react to ants for nine minutes straight. <laughs> Get subscribed. It's coming. Oh, no. Number one, the simulation theory. There we go. Now, according ah. to the simulation theory, we all live in an incredibly complex computer game. Yep, nothing less Sims. than that. It's, GTA, it's likely GTA that 42. either humanity in the distant future or any other technologically advanced alien civilization has created or will create numerous computer simulations. And while the number of these simulations was, is, and will be almost infinite, chances are that we're living in one of them right now. Ah. <laughs> what if he turns the Sorry, piece? that oh. was my mind blowing. <laughs> oh my god. I really love video. Look at what if they turn the, like, what if they turn a little simulation off one day? Just go, yeah. Yeah, literally. Like, or, or, or they, get a blue, they get a blue screen of death. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Then we all die. You know, could be you could be the Truman Show. You could no, be but like actually your deep, own no, Truman deep it, you lot. The amount of computer power they would have to have to be running this shit. It, no, it don't exist. Shut that. No, no but here's the thing. Okay, yeah. Ethan. So, right, like go back 200 years ago. You show someone an iPhone, the amount of computing power that's in and an iPhone. You're an alien. And they would literally be like, that's wizardry. That's impossible. You can't yeah, do true, that with a fucking true. block of block of stuff. Yeah, get that. So you extrapolate so like that. Ago, you even. extrapolate that like... Yeah, I mean, yeah, 20 years ago, you have a Nokia brick and someone shows you an iPhone and you're like, that's that's wizardry. You can't have that much computing power in right. such a small space. Extrapolate that 10,000 years, they can simulate whatever the fuck they want. They can simulate us and everything they've got. There's not, there's no, they don't have that much. It's no, doesn't we accelerate in death for technology, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, I feel like they've smashed it with the loading times in this situation. <laughs> 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 right. Thanks for watching Side Memory. Thanks for watching Side Memory. I had a building. There's no loading time. It's great, bro. Instantly, just loads Thanks. up the next place. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, loading time. Yeah, Jenny, what do you planes are for, bro? That's a loading screen. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's when you're loading a different city, you mate. You have to load a whole new country. Time. It takes ages. Like, America's a big place, but <laughs> so it takes so long to load no, it. No, I, I, that's, probably, that's probably why we have to sleep. It's just loading. <laughs> loading yeah, the next yeah, day. Mate, loading the next day. Refreshing, yeah, yeah, yeah. refreshing the system, bro. <laughs> no, it ain't, bro, because listen, my loading times have been so varied at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you're getting old, bro. bro. Your PC's getting old. You need to load all the time. <laughs> <laughs> how do I get a new one then? You I don't get a new one because someone else owns it. Someone else owns the PC, bro. So how do I get a new one? Disc, bro. Ah, fucking reset me, bro. You're a crap file. Yeah, reset, reset me, bro. Recover me. I'm a piece of shit.